This is Adam Baird for Art of Blog, and today I'm going to go through part two of the Quick Start Guide to Thesis here on Art of Blog. And basically, I just want to give you a quick tutorial on working with thesis hooks. Now, as you'll read in the article, we have to set up a WordPress function, and then we actually use the hook to call that function. And what that does is place the contents of the function in the area that's occupied by the particular hook that we attach the function to. So as you can see here, we have just a basic WordPress function, and that's the first thing we need to do. We need to create a WordPress function. And right now, this one is just empty. There's no content here, as you can see. Uh, absolutely nothing there. And just the basic the basic structure of a WordPress function, as, as it's described in the article, uh, you have the word function, and that sort of denotes that uh, a function is beginning. Uh, you have the name of the function, followed by parentheses, and then you have these brackets and whatever is enclosed in these brackets is what will appear wherever we call the function. Now in thesis we call the function by attaching the function to a hook. So for example thesis hook footer if we attach a WordPress function to that then the contents of that function will appear in the thesis footer. Crazy how that works. So let's take a look at an example of that. We've got a finished WordPress function here. We've named it affiliate link and we basically just placed uh, a replacement for the thesis footer text and we were uh, using our our DIY themes affiliate link here and obviously it's not my actual affiliate link you can put your your own affiliate link in there if you like and what we need to do is remove thesis attribution so that's the element that we're going to remove and we're going to remove it from thesis hook footer so basically the default thesis attribution that you see in the footer right here we're going to remove that and then what we need to do in place of that is add action affiliate link to the thesis hook footer. Now what that's going to do is place our affiliate link text in the footer. Crazy how that works. Now Thesis comes standard with a wonderful thing called the Custom File Editor, and that's actually new in version 1.6, which is the latest version of Thesis, which I'm using here. And as you can see, if you go into the Thesis Options panel and click on Custom File Editor, you come to this page, and by default, custom.css is displayed. We want to go into Custom Functions, which is where we need to put all of our hooking or all of our hooks. Uh, and our functions for Thesis, or basically anything that we want to display, needs to go in this file in order to work correctly. So I've consolidated our, our uh, function and our hooks, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste that into our custom functions.php file. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button. And if we come back out here and we refresh, as you can see, we've replaced, and now this will take us to DIY themes slash your affiliate link. Now, obviously, it's a broken link right now since your affiliate link doesn't actually lead anywhere, but typically you would have just uh, done your first thesis customization. It's pretty much that simple. That's all for part two of the Thesis Quick Start Guide from Art of Blog. Stay tuned for part three.